Alright, so hello there guys. Um, this is going to be a, a bit of a different kind of episode. Um, so this is going to be, this is my nether tunnel, I'm just in a creative um, single player world at the moment. Um, and so, I was just trying to check out designs, I'm not too much of a creative person, but um, this is just what I've come up with, so, I was, um, well, you, you don't actually know yet, this will be at the end of the video, but I've got a, um, a time lapse kind of thing of me redoing the rails, I've put the redstone underneath now, um, and this is, it's going to have the rails, two blocks gap, rails, and then wall, uh, then one block gap, and then walls, and the wall in some places are, can only be one thick, so I need to utilize that space in between there. So these are just a couple of designs I've put down. Um, there's, I really want ice underneath just so you can run in case. So this was one of them, you run inside here, um, which kind of keeps you in nice and close to the walls, um, and locks you in under the ice. Um, no zombie pigmen will spawn around here either. Um, I did collect uh, like 13, 14 stacks of of um, obsidian, so I really want to utilize that. And so these were a couple of designs I had for the walls. Maybe the um, sandstone hugging the obsidian. Um, I need to power these rails somehow. And there's going to be redstone running along here. Um, so, like where these lamps are now, these top two lamps. So it can't be powered from underneath. So the only real place is to power it from the side and it will provide a little bit of light. So I was thinking that kind of design. Um, the roof, the floor might be just, just be cobble, half slabs. Um, might be the stone brick. It might be up a whole block above the, above the rest of the thing. And still only have one block above you. So that you like look down to the tracks and the tracks are sunken in, um, slightly. So tell me what you want in the comments. If there's something else that you think looks a bit better than what I've done here, um, please feel free to tell me because I like to take those suggestions. Um, oh yeah, another one I, another one I had was kind of like um, it was similar to this, but you can see how we've got this arch over here hugging this half the track, and then this would be repeated on the other side, and so it'd like be it'd be kind of an M shape. So you could run down the the middle leg of the M, or you could take the cart down either side of the outside. Um, legs of the M, um, which actually looked quite nice. Um, I'll just do a little bit of it here. Um, we are we are in one point four point two, as you can see there. The the stairs to the have got the new hugging thing. So if you can think of a way to utilize that, please don't hesitate to tell me. So I was thinking something maybe like that, um, with this extra bit on top here. So it kind of makes that M shape. And then you'd have this sunken down with stairs as well. So it'd like be in this and then the rails would have their, and the rails will have their little bit here. Um, so yeah, tell me what you think. Um, put it in the comments. I'll read them and in the next couple of episodes sometime I'll I'll um, start building it. But yeah, I really want to incorporate obsidian into here because I've got a lot of it. Um, yeah. I was also thinking maybe obsidian in the middle but I'd prefer it so there's ice but it doesn't need to be because that's what the rails are there for. Um, so yeah, the rest of this video, as I said, is going to be a time lapse of me rebuilding the thing. Um, putting down these half slabs, running the wire underneath, protecting it from ghasts, all that kind of stuff. Um, and Jeremy helped me as well with that. Um, so, yeah, tell me what you think, please. And, uh, yeah, there will be no talking in the rest of the video, just so you know. 
um, it'll just be building. Alright, so thank you for watching, um, and I shall see you next time. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.